Good morning and welcome. I'm glad you got your two tickets to the gun show. My name is Aiden Gunn. These are my uh, co-hosts. We got Christian right here. Kevin, uh, we're so glad you decided to spend your morning with us. Today we'll be discussing things that go on within the NFL. We're keeping it fluid. You know us. We don't like to schedule things out too much. Um, but today we're going to start off with some sleeper picks, mainly uh, MVP and Coach of the Year. I'm going to go to Christian first. Christian, MVP, sleeper pick, who you got? I'm going to go with Justin Herbert. And um, obviously Rookie of the Year last year, it's not too much of a sleeper pick hot take. But um, Herbert last year, obviously Rookie of the Year, had a great year. Um, as a rookie quarterback, he's got great weapons, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, and more. And um, a new coach got away from Anthony Lynn, who seemed to be holding him and the Chargers team back a lot. He's got a good defense around him. Um, good O-line, Rashawn Slater's looking really good. Uh, that was a good pick for them in the first round last year. And I think Herbert's going to take a big step forward this year. And uh, I think he could win the MVP. Okay, very bold. Uh, Kevin, who you got? Well, Christian, I like that pick, but I'm going to have to go with Russell Wilson. Uh, he hasn't been MVP ever, and it's gonna be interesting to see if Seattle can take that. If Seattle can get back to contention, so I'm gonna go with Russell Wilson, Tyler Lockett, DK Metcalf, a healthy offense. The Seahawks are gonna be dangerous. Very intriguing that he has never been MVP before. You think he can get there just out of pure hunger? 100%. He has it in him. He's proved to be one of the elite quarterbacks of the NFL for the past almost eight years or so. And, and as his new weapons keep on coming, Chris Carson, I think, is back. So it's going to be a huge year for him. All right. I like it. Now let's circle back. Christian, coach of the year. Very important role. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, a little bit of an underrated award at the end of the season. But who do you think will win coach of the year? Coach of the year, I mean, that's definitely, it's definitely a tough one. You can go a lot of different directions with this. But I think um, it could be Sean McVay. And he's already won a coach of the year, but he's got a new quarterback, better quarterback now, with uh, Matt Stafford, new offense, new weapons, and I, I expect that offense to be very, very explosive and uh, very good, and I think Sean McVay is going to get a lot of credit for that with his um, whole system. It's going to be a different looking offense than it has in years past now with Stafford, but um, I think McVay is going to be really good. I think the Rams are going to be really good, and I think he's one of the top candidates for coach of the year. Interesting, I like it. All right, Kevin, coach of the year, who do you have? Well, I like the McVay pick. I'm gonna go a little bit bolder here. I'm gonna go Ron Rivera from Washington. Washington surprised many and made the playoffs last year. And this year they're returning with what is probably the best defensive line in the NFL led by Chase Young. If it's magic can make some magic happen on the offense with Curtis Samuel and and, and Terry McLaurin, the, the football team's gonna be pretty dangerous. See, I, I would love to see that happen as a, uh, a Maryland resident. You know, I, I would love to see the Coach of the Year Award come home to us. Um, I just want to remind our listeners that we do have uh, our call line open. Actually, we're receiving a call right now. Uh, here we go. You're on speaker. Can you uh, give your name and uh, location? Ron 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 okay. Nice to meet you, Ron. Uh, what do you got for us today? All right, here, let's switch it up, start off with Kevin. Thank you so much, Ron. Kevin, what's your opinion on that? Well, yeah, I mean, those two are obviously the favorite, but I went a little bolder. If I had to choose between both of them, I'd say Aaron Rodgers. I think Rodgers is going to have another season. We saw all the drama unfold between him and the Packers. They reworked the contract. If he's not happy, he leaves next year. So one last year, sort of a one last dance, even though they haven't won as many rings as MJ and Pippen, but yeah, I'd choose Rodgers. Okay, yeah, I, I feel like the, the big question there for me would be morale in that situation, but yes, definitely a very interesting pick. All right, Christian, uh, Mahomes or Rodgers for MVP? Well, a Aaron Rodgers, very interesting guy, he always has been. This is a very interesting and new situation that we've really never seen before in the NFL. And um, really don't know how he's going to respond to it. I mean, he's Aaron Rodgers, so I think he'd respond to it pretty well. But Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the NFL, best player in the NFL. He has been um, really since the first time he started an NFL game. So, um, I mean, Mahomes is a pretty easy, safe pick, so I guess I'd go with him. 
I agree. Yeah, I think both of these are, are pretty smart picks because you have two world class players that could easily take the cake in terms of MVP. Um, so yeah, it's really a question, in my opinion, for this race on how well Aaron Rodgers bounces back from all the the drama that went on behind the scenes, like off the field. Um, so yeah, definitely very interesting topic. Thank you again, Ron. Um, now let's move on to our Super Bowl predictions. Um, who, who do we have coming out of the Eastern Conference? Well, I guess we could start with the NFC. NFC, um, yeah. yeah. There we go. Thank you. Uh, well, I'll, I'll just give my prediction now. Okay. I, I could, I could make it easy and just say Chiefs and Bucks again, but uh, and I don't want to do that. Now I'll yeah, go that, with. That's um, not interesting. Yeah. Let's go. I mean, it's definitely very possible, but. I'm going to go with the Rams and the Bills. There are two teams that I think are very interesting coming into the season. The Bills came a game away from going to the Super Bowl last year, and I think that they can do it again this year. I think they're a very good team, and uh, Josh Allen with that new extension. And the Rams are obviously a very new-look team. Um, they were able to make it with Jared Goff, so I have confidence that they're going to make it with Matt Stafford. And um, it's tough to see both – Tom Brady and Patrick Mahomes going down before the Super Bowl. I think that's pretty unlikely, but it's going to be a different year. It's going to be a fun year. So I think Rams and Bills would be my Super Bowl prediction. And if I remember correctly, you also picked the Rams head coach to win mm -hmm. Coach of the Year. So you you you're going all in on the Rams train. Yeah, I'm right? very I'm very in on that. Okay, very season. confident. All right, Kevin, who do we have? For our Super Bowl predictions. I'm going to go the Chiefs and the Packers. The Chiefs were pretty close last year to winning it all, but they got spoiled by Tom Brady and the Bucks. They completely got destroyed that game, but they improved their offensive line by trading for Orlando Brown, and I'm just expecting a bounce back here from the Chiefs as a whole. And while the Packers might seem a bit bold, I do believe this is a year they will get past the NFC Championship game and get Aaron Rodgers his second ring. Okay, and that's interesting because you know, let's say things do work out the way you say they are, then we have your MVP prediction and your MVP, MVP prediction going head to head. Who do we see coming out in that game? Like who wins and also who gets Super Bowl MVP? So, Kevin. If the Packers win, it'll have to be Aaron Rodgers. I mean, maybe you can make a case for Devontae Adams, but the, the award, He's usually, a clear choice. The award yeah. usually goes to a quarterback. Okay. So. I understand. All right. So, we got Packers here. Let's yeah. say in a Chiefs Packers championship, who do you have? Um, I think if the Packers make it all the way there, that they'll win. I think the question is, will they make it through the NFC? Because I think if, if Aaron Rodgers is able to get to one last Super Bowl, Aaron Rodgers is one of the most, I think, clutch, just performing at the right time kind of players in maybe in NFL history. So I think Aaron Rodgers would have to be the MVP. All right, wow. We got a, a healthy debate going on here. Love the, the picks. Um, that'll be it for the Aiden Gun Show. Remember to 